a transgender woman, Brianna Kingsley, files a lawsuit against her ex-boyfriend, William Wojciechowski, alleging he discarded her surgically removed testicles stored in a mason jar. The legal battle includes claims for damages and the return of the unusual medical specimen. The judge dismisses both parties' claims, deeming the matter complex to quantify in monetary terms. Don't miss. What legal grounds did Kingsley have for suing her ex-boyfriend? Why did the judge deny both parties' claims? How did the case highlight the challenges of assessing damages in unique situation? So in Mr. Wojciechowski's response, he admits that he possessed the medical specimen and he admits that he disposed of them. So in Mr. Wojciechowski's response, he admits that he possessed the medical specimen and he admits that he disposed of them. The complex legal aspects of potential disputes related to ownership and handling of medical specimens. Okay. I am suing for the return of them and damages in the amount of $6,500. She had had her testicles removed, I believe if I recalled correctly, it was March 23rd, and they were left in the fridge. She had had her testicles removed, I believe if I recall correctly, it was March 23rd, and they were left in the fridge. Mr. Wojciechowski, feeling uneasy about the circumstances, appeared personally disinterested, perceiving the situation as repulsive. His reaction might highlight societal norms regarding the human anatomy. I wanted nothing to do with it. I thought it was odd, but I tried not to judge because everybody's a little different. It fits what made her happy, whatever. I want nothing to do with them. Um, I'm not one for body parts and all that stuff. It's kind of gross, actually. Um, it's part of her twisted humor, not mine. So and they were in the house from March, April to... They were there from April 2022 until July of 2023 when I disposed of them. So they were in the house from March, April 2. They were there from April 2022 until July of 2023 when I disposed of them. How by documenting timelines and disposal strategies, one can identify indicators suggesting Brianna's lack of immediate concern regarding retrieving the testicles. Yeah, so because um, That physical anomaly has been a point of stress in my life since I can remember. Yeah, so because that physical anomaly has been a point of stress in my life since I can remember. Brianna's viewpoint on gender dysphoria emphasizing the psychological toll it takes. It underscores her belief that stress stems from having testicles. And my middle name that I chose is D because my whole life I've been called Big D, I'm D from the D. And I thank God that these D's nuts were extracted and they were put into a biohazard bag. And for shits and giggles, I put them in a mason jar and I put them in the fridge next to the eggs. Um, so let me ask you this. Was the conversation ever from you, I'm done with you, could you please get your, your testicles out of my fridge? That never came up, and if they were so important to her, I don't understand why she didn't grab them then. That never came up, and if they were so important to her, I don't understand why she didn't grab them then. But the lack of clarity about the importance of anatomical components, along with a shortage of understanding, suggests a lack of direct communication between parties, possibly indicating a breakdown in comprehension or effective communication. So the amount that I'm claiming is for the damages of not having these nuts with me. I want them in my fridge, not his. So the amount that I'm claiming is for the damages of not having these nuts with me. I want them in my fridge, not his. Assessing claims for damages requires understanding them as complex expressions of personal connections to injured body parts, which are deeply tied to one's identity and self-awareness. I'm not sure why he would want to keep them. The damages were the loss of these nuts. In a peculiar legal dispute, Brianna Kingsley seeks the return of her surgically removed testicles stored in her ex-boyfriend's fridge. The judge rejects both claims, highlighting the challenge of assigning value to such a unique case. The public is left intrigued by the unusual nature of the lawsuit, 
and questioning the boundaries of legal compensation for personal items, even when unconventional. Navigating disputes extends beyond the realms of surgically removed testicles, individual boundaries, and property rights. It delves into the nuanced territory of personal autonomy and the right to control one's own body. Brianna Kingsley's determined quest to reclaim her testicles signifies a desire to affirm identity and autonomy, challenging gender norms and embracing individual self-justice and authenticity. The juxtaposition of testicles in a jar next to an egg introduces a touch of humor, prompting contemplation on the liberal nature of such a situation. How does one assert their will to choose and find meaning in a situation that's both visible yet elusive in judgment? The intricacy intensifies when calculating damages in unique litigation cases, revealing the judge's struggle to navigate the complexity of resolving disputes linked to deeply personal matters. Balancing legal principles and precedents is crucial, but emphasis must also be placed on the subjective nature of justice, allowing individuals to uncover personal meaning within the legal framework. Brianna Kingsley's fractured relationship with William Wojciechowski raises pertinent questions about communication, mutual respect, and termination. Clear communication and respecting relationship boundaries become pivotal in the aftermath, shedding light on how individuals navigate conflicts and seek meaning post-relationship termination. As Brianna Kingsley's reference to DA's nut and her past legal trouble suggests, the focus shifts towards uncovering individual meaning and identity amidst adversity, contemplating the profound impact of past experiences on present behavior and decision-making. What do you think? I promote myself and my videos. Hello, I'm Bong Sim, a Canadian resident of Asian descent. During the day, I work as a professional counselor, and at night, I do Uber food delivery. Instead of speaking in my videos, I prefer to express myself through writing. In today's world, speaking the truth can have serious consequences, both for my professional life and personal well-being. That's why I'm choosing to pen down my thoughts and using a platform to share them on my behalf. Some people find my videos uninteresting, too strict, and they even criticize the appearance of the individuals featured, including their tiredness, Asian, or perceived flaws. I understand these concerns, but... I genuinely believe in the purpose behind creating these videos. Unfortunately, recent Canadian legislation has resulted in the censorship of free speech and online content. And although Google hasn't explicitly admitted their involvement, I suspect they play a part in it. Despite my efforts to monetize my content on YouTube, I haven't been able to earn any income from it. I've tried three times, and all my attempts were rejected. They turned me down for reasons like lacking creativity not having a recognizable face, or not having a distinct voice. Nevertheless, I've made several adjustments to my videos, hoping to overcome these challenges. If you share my belief and support what I'm doing, I would genuinely appreciate your backing.